Good morning. Day 155. This will be my second day in the 100 mile wilderness. Got some big, well, they're not long climbs, but a lot of climbs here today over several mountain peaks. So it's going to be a hard one. Yesterday, I was beat because of the wet rocks and roots. And that 15 miles yesterday was only like 20. 500 elevation gain, little pops, ups and downs, and back on trail right now. That was a blue blaze to a shelter, a short one. And only go into shelters that are too far off the trail, extra miles for nothing. But looks like I get this oak blaze now for the next four miles. Be first on trail from my area. I couldn't, I didn't want to push on last night. It was like 4.30. And that was plenty of hours of hiking for me. So, I stayed. Lobo pushed on. That four miles. But, try to stick by my hiking nine hours a day thing. Seems to fare well. Gives me some downtime. I mean, I'm super exhausted as it is. I was trying to write my blog last night. I, my eyes were going shut on me. It was like 4.35 o'clock, I think. <sighs> so, anyway, this journey's almost over, but these next two days are like the last big mountain climbs. And then it's pretty level in the rest of the wilderness, which means that's when I have no signal. So I actually have a signal, one bar at the shelter yesterday, and I wasn't expecting that. And uh, anyway, I need to make sure I can charge my phone for when I summit Katahdin, because this is a lot of days of keeping your phone two step. So, lots of things to think about. Anyway, uh, all right, have a good day. Bye. Okay, so this umbrella strap is going to drive me crazy. There. There. It's better. Okay. <laughs> um, last night I was in the shelter with some Dave. Some Dave, he's gonna summit Katahdin. And uh, he's nice, real nice guy. And uh, interesting flip flop, he was Nobo, but then he flipped. Well, he's gonna go up to the wilderness and summit Katahdin, and then flip and go Sobo. So he was just a little slower than he thought he would be. In any case, in the middle of the night, I heard him uh, he's in discomfort, and he had a fever, chills all night. He was with some of his other family, and they all got off the trail because they were all sick. He didn't feel sick, so he pushed on, and uh, lo and behold, he's got a flu or something. He is on the other side of the shelter of me, but... That can psych you out. Especially when I was and just being so grateful, saying how I'm so thankful I haven't had one sickness out here it's all these days. So my body's been strong and healthy that way. I mean I do try to take several quality supplements. I hope they are quality. Anyway. There was a large, large spell that I didn't have any. So, anyway, so I'm in the shelter last night with someone who has high fever and chills. Crazy. And I only have, I don't know how many days left. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and either summit Sunday or Monday. So, here you go. This is my first big view for the day. Isn't that pretty? Hey everybody, so a barren mountain and it's just gorgeous out there. It's amazing. <laughs> Look at all of that. 
<laughs> it's wild. <sighs> okay, so trail maintainers are working on the trail back there. I don't know if you can hear the banging, but I, I just that's hard work. A lot of them are just volunteers too. So in case. Hey guys, day one to D five. I think. Yeah. And um, I think I'm on the top of Chairback Mountain. There is a chair chairback third mountain. There's different peaks on this thing, but anyway, I have to conserve my phone battery because I was thinking, you know, I was all worried about not having a signal, but actually I'm more concerned now making sure I have battery by the time I'm summiting Katahdin. I'm not sure if there's a place to charge it before going up. And I know I've only jumped it like three times on trail out of with my anchor. Not sure that it can go, maybe we can do four or five, but uh, hopefully I can punch out more miles after I get these mountains done and it gets more level. But All right, so I might have to make my video short and I don't get to turn my phone on and see if I have any service. So, all right. Okay, I'm done climbing down rock slides. Can I be done? Can I be done, please? This, this is so scary. I just came down from steep up there. And I gotta do this. You see the white blaze down there on that rock far away. <sighs> Look at that view out there. Okay, guys, so end of day 155. You can see my eyes are just like barely staying open right now. My phone was filled. I had to go through and delete videos and such. I hiked from like 5.30 till... 5.30. Although I did take an hour on top of a mountain and I had a conversation. It was a hard conversation. So, anyway. I haven't checked if I have any signal right here because I'm in a low-lying area and I probably don't. And I have to save my battery. I did find that you can charge, they said you can charge your phone at Able Bridge. And there's a restaurant there. I think we'll be able to charge, so I just got to get it to last till then, then. So, um, two days down in the wilderness, and I don't know what the mileage was today, 16 or 17. I really wanted to push, but I got behind an hour there, and it's okay. My eyes are burning. Too much crying. I'm ready to be done with that crying all the time junk. <sighs> and not from hiking. Anyway, uh, I won't be able to upload these videos until I get to Millinocket, probably. A town. Maybe the AT Lodge after I summit. So hopefully, I have a signal there. Hmm. All right, so interesting. A guy at the shelter that slept in the shelter last night. Did I tell you guys about that? Oh, maybe I did tell you guys. He, like, had a fever last night. Crazy. And I was sleeping in the same shelter with him. But I'm good. We are on opposite sides, and yeah, we'll be all right. So tomorrow is my last big day to climb, I guess. There's Whitecap is a mountain like the last mountain before the big one Katahdin because then it gets kind of the profile is really kind of low like this so white cap you know like mountains are uh they're just I'm just over climbing them so I'm grateful to be out here I just am exhausted so okay end of day one 155 and I'm in a tent, in a cell site, and it's kind of stuffy. There's not much breeze moving here. So, all right, good night.